Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is another ACL workshop. On this workshop, I'm going to show you how do you perform keyword searches if you have your list of keywords in Excel. So I'm using a data set from basically the P card transactions from the city of Toronto. So I'm just going to open it up quickly just to show everybody. And I've compiled it already, so it's uh, I think it's like two years worth of two or three years worth of data. Uh, it's a couple thousand lines, 119,000 lines. Uh, it has this purpose, which provides a description. And then what I have here is I have a very short list of keywords. Normally your list of keywords is a little bit longer, but uh, this is just to demonstrate a purpose. So we're looking for the words fee, gift, fraud, entertain. So this is how we're going to do it. So I have an ACL script open and I'm going to go to scripts and I'll put this in a new folder and I'll call it, I'll call it, I'll, I'll provide a link so that people can have access to it. So we are going to first um, do all the standard stuff. So set safety off, set exact on, we're going to close, close secondary and we're going to say, uh, let's say import source files. And then I'm going to go set folder two tables. I'm going to call it source. So let's run that first. And then let's right click the source table. And I'm going to go to ACL keywords, data, P card transactions. I'm going to go entire worksheet, name range. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer one. It's going to take a minute to load. But keyword search is super important. And I'm going to show you a technique. It's essentially going to be using uh, a do-while loop. So if you've been following my Visual Basic uh, videos, uh, then you'll know what I mean. Or if you know any programming. I'm going to skip this just because I'm not too concerned about any of the formatting or the, uh, the types, it's really concerned about with the purpose being a character, which it's, it's definitely going to be. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. And this is a pretty simple activity, but actually requires a pretty uh, complicated trick uh, to get it to work. So after you see this, you're going to realize like how simple this is. So we're going to copy and paste it. It's super important that you copy and paste your, your import. I've seen it one too many times where they haven't. And uh, when we need to, when we get a new Excel listing or a new data set, they're not able to, to use it. So we're going to call this keywords. So we're going to have to create a couple scripts from here. So I'm just going to calm this out since we already have this done. And I'm going to just set a new table here so we don't confuse things. And I call this uh, B analysis. Perfect. So I'm just going to run that. So we have that table there. Perfect. So what we're going to do is essentially we're going to loop through the keywords. So I'm going to go open underscore keywords and you'll, and if you pay attention, you'll see how this can be applied to many different scenarios. So we're going to go count and then we're going to go, uh, V counter is equal to count one. So count one is essentially the variable that comes out of count. And then we're going to go V we're going to go V count is equal to one and the v count is basically going to be how do we know what instance what what uh yeah what instance are we on so we're going to go do um keyword keyword script while v count is less than or equal to v counter so uh, keep doing this script until uh v uh v count is equal or is not equal to and less than 
to uh, v counter. So we're going to call this um, uh, p card analysis. Normally I name my scripts in a very particular order, but that's just more for my own sake. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go uh, keywords. Uh, what do I call it? I'll call it keyword script. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste this here. And we're going to go here and we are going to go set folder to tables, um, B analysis. And we're just going to call this over here AdWords keywords. And essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to open up underscore keywords. And we're going to use this function called locate. Uh, and then we're going to go locate record. And what this does, it allows us to isolate the row that we want to indicate. In this case, we want it to be vcount. So the first time it's going to do, it's going to isolate the word. It's going to isolate the line one, which is feet. Uh, and then what we're going to do here, since we now we've isolated the line, we're going to go uh, v keyword is equal to um, what, what I call it, keywords, which is the name of the field. And we're just going to do some quick manipulation of the data. So I'm going to all trim it. Or actually, I should, um, I'm going to uppercase it. So we don't have to worry about casing. And I'm going to all trim around it. And then essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open P card. And then I'm going to go extract fields all. Uh, actually, I'm going to go uh, V keyword as keyword all, which means all the records, to, and then I go uh, BP card, V keyword, and then I go open if, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, you could use a number of different functions. You could use find, you could use a curse. In this case, I'm gonna use a curse. And I go uh, upper all. In this case, the description here is going to be. You could use a number of different ones. In this case, I'm going to use purpose. So pick whatever your description is. And I'm going to say look for quotation, the keyword in the purpose. And if it's greater than zero, or I could have said greater than or equal to one then spit it out. If it doesn't, then uh, then don't. And uh, one other thing we're going to have to do here is I'm going to go v append is equal to append if v count does not equal 1, right? And then I go v append, and you're going to see how useful this is. It's a very useful technique if v count equals 1. So essentially what I'm saying is and uh, actually, let me write the line out first. I'm going to go extract fields all. Actually, I'm going to take this line and move it down here. And I might actually need to put quotations around here. And I'm going to go substring. So the reason why I'm doing this um, uh, attribute quotations because when you call around v keyword, it's going to call upon the variable, but then it's just going to show fee, which is not a field. So you have to put quotations around it to say that's the word. And then I'm going to make them all 20 characters so that way I can append them all appropriately. So then I'm going to go all to, in this case, I'm going to go b p card keywords and then I go v append. So essentially, it's going to have the word append. Uh, which means like put a blow if it's not record one. If it is record one, create a whole new table. So we may have to run this a few times to get it perfectly run. Oh, actually, one other thing we have to do is to make sure that it knows what it's doing. We have to go v count plus one. So I'm gonna run line by line to show what it does. So here it's just setting the initial parameters, setting the folder, and it's opening up the keywords. It's doing the count. So now we have a count of four, which is good. V counter equals four. 
vcount e is equal to 1. And then it's going to do the script until vcount is no longer less than or equal to vcounter. So it's there you see vappend is blank, which is good because it's record 1. And we're going to locate record. Now keyword is fee, which is the first word. And we're going to open here. And we are going to... Okay, um, and let's play this out. So actually, it did not let's see why it didn't work. So if we go to BP card, it could be the case that the word doesn't exist at all. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot the V in the keywords. So now if we, you'll, you'll notice that I knew it wasn't working because when it goes right, which is the number of records that's actually uh, writing to the new table. So again, we're going to go. Oh, shoot. Okay. I don't want to toggle. There you go, it wrote 1600 records. And then again, it's gonna write 1600 records. And now the word is gift. It's gonna write 185 records. And then if we keep playing it, now we have this, uh, if we go to BP words, now we classify in here, we'll see that now it's worked. Now you have this nice table. And to finish it off, we are going to go back here and we're going to go open B P card keywords and then we're going to go summarize uh, on keyword is a keyword or keywords let's see keyword and we're going to subtotal transaction amount and we're gonna go here. We're gonna go B uh, P card keywords summary pre sort open. So let's run that. There you go. And now I have the total dollar transaction associated with the the keyword fee entertain fraud and gift and you can make that as large as you want as small as you want uh, you can use different descriptions and it's a really powerful technique to allow you to perform this analysis uh, using using an excel list listing that already exists so hopefully you learned something if you have any comments uh, feel free to leave them below if you have any video ideas topics that you want me to cover uh, things that you wanted me to clarify more than happy to to help out where I can look forward to speaking to you next time